C-Sharp development in VS Code is getting even better with some new updates to the C-Sharp DevKit extension. Let's get into the latest. Solutionless workspace mode is now in preview. If you have a simple project like this Blazor app with a CS proj but no solution file, the C-Sharp dev kit won't automatically create one for you. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna open up this project in VS Code. As it's loading up here, I'm gonna take a look at my file explorer. You may be used to this view in VS Code where you can go ahead and take a look at your project and all of the files within it. But the C-Sharp dev kit also has a solution explorer view that might take a second or two to pop up. From here, I can go ahead and see all the dependencies in my project, components, everything I would expect. And I can also add in some NuGet packages and do some other cool stuff by right-clicking on my project. But what I wanna show you is that there was no solution file automatically created in association with this project. I can always go ahead and add in a solution file by right-clicking on my project, and then doing create a solution file I'm going to do the defaults. And then when I click on here, I'll be able to see that solution file. This can be configured in the settings, which you can always access from the command palette. Just search up .NET solution free. Enable this preview setting. And of course, this works with a single project or multiple projects in multiple folders that you may be working on. We've also improved the Blazor and Razor experience by adding a new experimental hot reload. You can enable this by going into your settings and toggling on the experimental debug hot reload and the debug hot reload on save. So these are compliments to the XAML hot reload. So what this means is that when I go ahead and run my Blazor application, I'm gonna just go and debug that. As it's running, if I make any quick changes to my Blazor app, even when it's live, I'm gonna be able to see those changes happening. So now my Blazor app is running. As you can see, there's this little flame icon, which means hot reload. So I can pull over my Blazor application. This is just the out of the box application with a home page, a counter, and a weather page. My current counter goes up by increments of one, but let's change that. So I'm gonna go into my pages, go to my counter page. And what I'm gonna do is just update this to go up by increments of 10. So I can either save this or hit that hot reload button. And now when I go to use my counter, it goes up by increments of 10. This is currently an experimental feature, but we're going to continue to improve it as we work towards general availability. Also, in Preview Now, you can make any solution a .NET Aspire solution by adding the .NET Aspire app host and service defaults projects to your solution. It's super easy to do, so I'm going to right-click on my solution here, and I'm going to select Add .NET Aspire Orchestration. I'm going to select the My Blazor app to be orchestrated. And I'm going to use the default app host name and service defaults names for those respective projects. So in a couple seconds, you're going to see my app host project popping up and my service defaults projects popping up. Right away, if I go into my Blazor project and I look under dependencies and projects, I can see that the service defaults project is already being referenced here. That's pretty cool. Similarly, in my app host project, if I go to my dependencies under projects, I can see that my Blazor project is also already being referenced automatically. That's pretty cool. There are two things that I need to configure. The first is the service defaults in the Blazor app so that I get all my telemetry, service discovery, and resiliency. So let's start there. I'm going to go into my Blazor app and into my program.cs. And I just need to add one line here. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to add builder.add service defaults and save that. We also need to tell the app host which projects to include. We only have one, so it should be pretty easy. Let's add that in. I'm going to go into my app host project program.cs and I'm going to add in builder.add project. And then I'm going to specify projects.my Blazor app. And I'm going to give it the key website and I'm going to save that as well. All right. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and run this. 
And what's going to happen is my application is going to start running and soon the .NET Aspire dashboard is going to be popping up. This dashboard is pretty cool. It's going to give me a lot of information about my running application. All right, it looks like our application is running. Uh, once again, I see that I have the hot reload button available to me. That's pretty cool. But what I'm interested in right now is my .NET Aspire dashboard. So here's my running application. Uh, through this dashboard, I can also take a look at console logs, structured logs, traces, etc. But what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my Blazor application. And as I start to interact with my application, go to the different pages, maybe increase the counter, I'm going to start to see some of this information coming in to my .NET Aspire dashboard. All of this is easier than ever to configure using the C-Sharp dev kit, and I hope you check it out. And there you have it. We've also improved the debugging and testing experiences in the C-Sharp dev kit, and you can find more information on that in the description below. As always, please continue to leave your feedback or upvote existing tickets in our C Sharp Dev Kit repository, which will be linked in the description below. This allows us to really prioritize what you're looking for out of this extension and make sure we're making improvements accordingly. Thanks again.